All right, time now for one of our favorite segments. We've not done this in a bit. Kelsey Christensen here. Let's try before you buy. Uh, we've eaten a lot of weird things on the show. Yes. But I'm told you're going to like today. I don't know. Do you like chocolate? It's only my favorite. Do you like Do you like uh, milk chocolate? Uh, I haven't had it since I was a kid, but it's okay. going to bring back some nostalgia. Uh, today's National Milk Chocolate Day. You haven't had milk chocolate since you were a kid? I know. Isn't that sad? And I also haven't been to the zoo, at least the Minnesota Zoo. What kind of health regimen are you on? I don't It's just it's a scary for me today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God, those sounds. Uh, today we're going to find out if we can tell the difference between cheap chocolate and then expensive chocolate. I sure hope that we can. Here she is, the wonderful uh, Lauren and Drago is here to guide us through all of this. And you're going to be blinding us? Right yeah, now? good morning. Um, uh, I promise Minnesota Live blindfolds are in next year's budget. But I'm going to put these on you guys. Because we're going to do a blind taste test. I did this with Megan and Kristen Hobrick last year with champagne. Okay. They didn't do that well. Um, but here's the sitch. There's four different kind of chocolates under this um, under this lovely tablecloth. These are very tight, Lauren. Are they? I didn't test them out. Do you guys use these on the airplanes when you're taking all your trips? No. No? I can't sleep on airplanes. Do you? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. Now that you guys are blindfolded, right? All right. They're blindfolded. Okay. They would have okay. flinched this at that. really weird. I'm going to reveal four types of chocolate to um, our viewers at home. And one at a time in no particular order... I'm gonna have you guys try a piece of these chocolates. Now, here's the sitch. Um, there's some chocolate brands that you're gonna recognize. There's some that you're not. Um, there's a, a local brand, there's some grocery store brands, and I wanna hear your genuine reactions to each of them when you try them. So I'm gonna put a piece of chocolate in your hand. Ready? I'm very uncomfortable with this situation. Why? <laughs> you can trust me, we're on television. I do trust <laughs> you. What can I do? I do trust you, Lauren. Do we wait to eat it? Lauren? No, take a bite. Okay. I'm not going to tell you anything about what it is, but I would just want to hear what you think of it. Kelsey's first time eating milk chocolate in a decade. I'm a dark chocolate girly. Mm. Mm. This is, that explains yep. it. What do you think? Wait, are we saying cheap or what it is? Just, just your reactions. Do you okay. like it? Is it good? Is it bad? Would you buy it? I like it because I like chocolate. I know it's not expensive. Mm. Why not cheap? What of... makes you know it's not expensive? Mmm. Because it kind of got that aftertaste a little bit. Oh, it's coming okay. In. Mm -hmm. An aftertaste. Chris? Uh, this tastes fine. Okay, cool. You can put it down. That's all I've got on Wherever. There. Um, okay. Here's the second. <laughs> this is more fun than I thought it was going to be. Just hand it you. Know, eat this. You're blindfolded and you, you have to. You guys could really take this and like just mess with us big time. I also want to hear, so take some notes. Because you guys together are going to try to rank these from cheapest to most expensive. So make a mental note. What do you think of this one compared to the last one? Mm, this is harder than I thought. Like the texture is harder it or it's more challenging? It's all blending together here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. They are four plain milk chocolate bars. There's nothing special about any of these okay. in terms of, in well, maybe ingredients, but there's no like nuts or caramel or anything on each okay, any of fair. them. Okay, fair. It's a, it Chris like is feeling the chocolate. texture of each of these. Okay, let's I'm go for three. On that one too. Okay. Yeah, I let's, think I've yep. identified that one that you Here's already three. gave me, but okay. The third. Third of four. And your thoughts. Is that milk chocolate? They're all milk chocolate. Okay. Isn't this fun? Oh my gosh. People mm. I thought I was going to age this. I'm going to fail this. Are they all tasting mm. the same? Are, all have you tasted any differences between any of them yet? Mm. I, I, I didn't. Go ahead, Kelsey. I think it's, yeah, this is a cheap one. I don't know the brand. I have no idea. Okay, let's go for four then. And I, this one? I do feel that that one, yeah. Okay, here's four, Chris. I forget you guys can't see me <laughs> handing you chocolate. And your thoughts. Ooh. This is expensive. This is Ghirardelli. Oh. No, I don't know. Something like that. You're going to name I'm the gonna brand. I'm going to actually have another bite of this. Mm -hmm. What makes you think it's expensive, Kelsey? Because you know when you bite into chocolate and you hear the crunch, but it's only on the top layer? Oh. That's when you know. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a, I am not an aficionado. That, I, I know that tastes different than the other three. All right, before you take your That's blindfolds what off, what, was there a favorite one that stuck out to you or did nothing pop out as, as a top milk chocolate? Go ahead, Kelsey. Mm, I think number four was the best one for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Chris? I liked uh, number two, the big block one. This, this makes sense to me. Okay, so can you, I, Kelsey made her guess. Can, can you make any guesses? I'd like you to work together. Oh, what's the gosh. cheapest and what's the most expensive? Chris, what do you think? Um, I'm at a loss. Uh, the third one was the cheapest. Okay, I agree. Yes. And then I'm going to go the the big block one, be number two. One next. 
Mm -hmm. for the most expensive. You agree? Yep. Yep. Wow. Okay. Take your blindfolds off, guys. You were very, very close. So the first one you tried was lint, which you may have had before. You can get these in grocery stores everywhere. It's $3. This was the first one? That was the first one you tried. Okay. Yeah. Right. The second one you tried was Tony's. This is not a local brand, but it's a less common one. It costs $6, and we got it at Cub Foods, um, but it is heavier. So we think that's my, that's maybe why it costs $6. Oh, okay. Uh, the third one was a Hershey bar. What? How and do that's we not cheapest. recognize that? That's why I had that's to blindfold the one, you because you can see the cheapest, though. Hershey's written on it. Yeah, yeah you did. We got you that. nailed okay. it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, and this one's $1.50. And then this is from Mademoiselle Miel. I'll put it back down here. In St. Paul. Um, and it costs $13. But look at the ingredients on this. This is a moon milk bar, and it just has cacao, cacao butter, maple sugar, and oats. It's vegan, gluten-free, and paleo. That's why it costs $13. You definitely could taste a difference. It just tasted different. That's what I figured. But between the three of these... Yeah, and not to knock any of these, by no. the way. Gosh, they're absolutely all good, not. But yeah. I, just, I couldn't even name a brand if I tried on that one. Yeah, well, I, I, I knew there was going to be a Hershey here somewhere. Right, but Lynn we threw had me to. off with the squares. Because they were very similar. There you go. All right. Well, that that was one of the weirder things I've ever done on the show, and that's saying a lot. I think it's fun.